Other people, I'm up here. Here's some Mercedes and all the other cars. I'm up here. Here's the go kart. Also, if anyone can help me out with this thing, that case right there, right there. The left side I have, the right, no, which side's cracked? Yep. It's the right side case I am looking for because someone who ever tried to jack it up, it was a retard and jacked it up on the case and put a hole in the case. The left case I got when I got the, when I got the go-kart. The right case I need and then I'm going to pull out the rear end and swap the case. And I need a throttle cable because mine got like all screwed up. So if anyone can help me out with the website or any place where I can get parts, I also might buy a new set of tie rods because these are, well, this one broke. Or I might just get it rewelded depending on the price. So if anyone can help me out with that, that would be great. The reason I made the video is because the old DR125 is down in the shed. And I'm going to go pull it out because I'm going to do a top end rebuild on it. The only reason why I'm pulling it out now and I didn't order the piston and rings yet is because I'm going to pull my dad's car out of the garage for a couple weeks. And I'm going to see, well today, I'm going to see if the connecting rod is good. Because if the connecting rod is good, then I will buy the new piston and rings. But if the connecting rod is not good, I'm going to bolt it all back together and put it back down here. But if it is good, I'm going to keep my dad's car outside for a couple weeks while I work on this. So now if I open it up, you'll see my blaster, which is now seized up. And I'm pretty sure it needs a crank. But if I put it in gear and I roll it, it uh, it rolls. If I put if if I put in gear and I if I put in sixth gear and I roll it, it'll roll and move everything, the connecting rod and piston and everything. But if I try to move it without that, uh, then it just the kickstart is locked up. So I don't know what happened with it. So that pisses me off. But I'm gonna do. I have over a thousand dollars into the machine. Anyone wants to give me six fifty seven, it's theirs. Push it out, nice blaster, green frame. Now this is why I'm down here, the old DR. I'm pretty sure I put it in fifth gear, so it's gonna be a little hard to get it out of gear. Anyone looking for blaster heel guards? I got lots of them, and I got another set up there. Also, oh, also a blaster fender, blaster A arms. They're all, all the parts are on eBay. Oh man. Afraid of that happening. Come on. Kickstart stuck on a piece of plastic. Also, I got a blaster gas tank too. If anyone needs one of those, there we go. It's a little bit challenging to pull it out, but I'll get it out. Why is it not rolling? Now it should. Okay, get it away from the snow blower. I bought this thing cheap and I guess I over revved it or whatever. And it blew up, of course. What else is new? It's a four stroke. I wouldn't expect it to blow up as easy as it did, but it did. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, bear with me, I'm going to put down the camera so I can pull it out, and then I'm going to pick it up back up. So, just bear with me for a second. Man, this thing's heavy. Well, it's not heavy, but... It's not heavy, but like the wheels are seized up. They're not seized up, just they haven't been rolling in eight years. Therefore, it's a little hard to roll. The gas tank I can just pull right off. I just rested it on the seat. Almost out. Of course, the exhaust hits the only thing in the way. And it is out. I haven't seen this thing in a while. I have the side plastics. The gas tank goes under the seat. As, as you all know, but... <laughs> I mean, it was running, so I know it has spark and everything. I am going to double check that. Though, so, all the head studs are there. Cylinder studs, I mean, uh, exhaust studs. Got to get the exhaust rewelded. Car by rebuild, so once it's running, it should fire up for a second kick. Front tire's not the best because it's dry rotted, but the rear tire's not that dry rotted, and it's got brand new tread. So, 
when I go up there, I'm going to get some carb cleaner and see if it still wants to start. And if it doesn't, that's when I'm going to tear it down. It looks like it has no compression, but I took it apart because it was jamming up the head. But, uh, I mean, it was running when I took it apart. I mean, it did stop running, of course, but, but I mean, it was pretty much running when I took it apart. So I'm surprised it did not, but it was smoking like a bat out of hell, so... So, I guess I'm going to have to uh, tear it apart. I'll find out in a couple minutes. Also, i got to fix this brake and grind a little bit of this down because the kickstart hits it. I don't think I ever had the kickstart off yet. It's pretty loose. I mean, it feels like it has some compression. It can also be something stupid like the timing's off, but I don't know. If I get this bike running, I might... I'm definitely going to pull off... I might not pull off the swing arm, but I'm definitely going to like repaint it get rid of all this and stuff but if this video is too long i won't be able to upload it so i'm gonna put the blaster away probably try to get the blaster unlocked again really quick and then i'm gonna uh, push this one up there bye guys